Conversation going on here, and a lot of people watching uh, Joe. And exactly what are you intending to do here? Well, I'm going to pull the bus uh, this Saturday to Minneapolis, Minnesota. In the wintertime, um, it's at the city uh, bus station in Minneapolis, St. Paul. And if you wait for a couple seconds, you'll find out. All right, attach it now to the uh, to the front bumper of the bus, and. Uh, Checking to make sure, obviously, uh, a slip or a fall here could be extremely dangerous. That's right. You can't fall in front of the bus that's moving. <laughs> They're very heavy. 22,000-pound uh, Minneapolis-St. Paul municipal bus. And uh, you're putting those chains around yourself now. And uh, obviously putting some padding there to make sure it doesn't cut right through the uh, flesh, which it would have to do with the tremendous pressure exerted. That's right. It's a chain. Uh, you don't have a strap to... Uh, cover your back, it's a chain, so that's why you got to put some protection on your back so the chain doesn't uh, injure your vertebra or your spine. All right, obviously, uh, last-minute preparations here, uh, girding yourself. Imagine, too, that emotionally, don't you have to really get yourself psyched up for to attempt this? You have to uh, have a lot of concentration. I like to see this bus is very heavy. I'm going to concentrate myself right now, and the bus is going to move. There's only one way I could get out of that. If the bus don't move, I'm going to die there. All right, tremendous uh, effort here, and now the bus actually beginning to move. That's right, it's moving. I would have died there before. And here's where you almost got into real trouble again. Uh, you did slip on the ice and fall down, but uh, uh, you're back to your feet. You had pulled that bus, I guess, a good uh, eight or ten feet by then. Well, you got to take the consequences. You can't take the heat to get out of the kitchen, right? Well, that uh, certainly is uh, quite a comment indeed. 